Good day. Today, I just want us to uh, focus on the on the cash flow, but we're just going to do the dividend paid. So I just want us to um, look at it at how to calculate the dividend paid, dividends paid uh, in the cash flow statement. So let's go and do it. So when we're talking about the dividend paid. Right? When we're talking about the dividend paid. So we want the dividend that the, that the business is, I mean the company that the company has paid. Right? So the company pays two dividends. They pay uh, the first one that they pay, they pay their final dividend of previous year. Remember, um, the the company the companies they say that they cannot pay out the interim dividend while they are still owing the final dividends of the previous year. So remember that the final dividends they are only paid in the next financial year. So it means that um, the final dividends of the previous year they are paid uh, in the next financial year. So we take the final dividends of the previous year because they will be paid in this year. And then we add them with the interim of the current year. So then we are going to get the dividend paid. So remember, um, the final dividends, they, uh, they are shown under current liabilities as the shareholders for dividends, which is a liability since we are owing the um, shareholders. So we take the shareholders for dividends of the previous year when we are calculating the dividends paid because that is, that is what we want for the dividend paid. We want the one for the previous year. And then we add with the interim of the current. So let's go and look at it. We want the final of the previous year. So let's look at the information. Shareholders for dividends. They gave us the balance at the end. And then they also gave us the, the shareholders for dividend. The balance at the end of the financial year. Meaning, what it, meaning that it is going to be the opening balance of the current year. So this is the shareholders for dividend of the previous year. So we said that we take it. Right? So this is how much? 180,000. Now we add with the um, interim. So the dividends, as we know, we have the final and the interim. So let's go and look at the interim. What did they say about the interim dividends? They said interim dividend was paid on that one August 2021, but no information. Final dividends was declared on 28 February 2022. Then they said total dividend for the financial year amounted to 552,500. Remember, the total dividends they are made up of the interim plus of plus the final dividends. They are made up of the interim plus final dividends. So this is for the financial year, the year that we are in. Remember, we want the interim of the year that we are in. So we are giving the total dividends. So it means that if we want to find um the interim of this year, we must subtract the final dividends of this current year. So we have 552,500, right? So we are going to come here and show you in bracket 552,500 and then we want to separate the finite dividends so that you are going to be left with the um, interim of this year. So how much is the finite dividends of this year? They gave us, remember, the shareholders for dividends are the finite dividends. So they gave us the one for this year. They gave us the previous and the current. So it is... 264,500. 
Suku en sabre tietje. Right? So, it's going to be 180,000 plus, so, 552,500 minus 264,500. That is going to be 288,000. So, we add the, with, with the 180, then that is going to be 468. Thousand. So this is the dividend paid. We take the final of the previous, we add with the interim, which is 288 of the current year, then we get the dividends paid.